Students, welcome back. Last week we talked about ballroom dancing. Shall we dance? Did you learn a little bit from our last chapter? We talked about three benefits of uh, having ballroom dancing. The first one is it can free your body and soul. It's good for your body and soul. The second one is for the male, you will have the spirit of a knight. The third one is uh, you will have a more harmonious life because you know how to move and when to move. You won't clash with the people around you. So, did you try the ballroom dancing yet? Today, we are going to talk about chapter three, why water rafting. It's a very exciting activity. But I've for the PT, I have never been one of this kind of activity because I don't like the sunshine and I'm afraid of uh, the rapid water. But today I invite you, an uh, expert on this. We have uh, Robert Lee here again. Hello, Robert. Hi. Hi, student. This is Robert. It's great to be here. Yes, we always love to have you here with us to share your most precious experiences. So, how many times have you been to uh, rafting? Uh, three times. Three times. First of all, we have to explain to our students, what is a rafting? Rafting is the traveling over water in the ship or boat. Yes, but usually the ship or boat is in a more uh, simple structure, not that complicated, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, usually made of uh, logs, wood, or barrel. Or plastic? Yeah. Okay. And what's the differences between the rafting and why water rafting? Rafting is the people on the river, they feel the water is kind of smooth, there's no drop, no big wave, mm -hmm. and sailing very smoothly. Yes. Why water rafting? Uh, there, along the river, you will see or feel the big drop, big white water splash. Yes. And a lot of twist and turn. Lots of twists and turns. The, the, major prob, um, the major differences here is that the white water rafting, you can see from the wordings, it, it has lots of white waters because of the speed, because of the rapids of the water, right? So we call it a white water rafting. It's more dangerous and it's more challenges, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And you say that you have been two, three times for the rafting, all yeah. in Taiwan or? Well, two in Taiwan, one in the Bali, Indonesia. Okay, we talk uh, about the first two. One okay. is in? One in the Shuku. River in okay, in Hualien. And the other one in Laolong River in Liu Gui. Okay. And uh, the one in foreign country is... Uh, in Bali? Are a Ayan? young river okay. in the Bali, to in Indonesia. Do, do you call these rivers as a white water rafting? Yeah. Are they qualified to be called as a white water? I think so, because a uh, regular wave may reach two or three feet. Oh, okay. And they have a big drop or small drop. Mm -hmm. It's more adventurous. Yeah. Actually, we have the levels for the streams, for the rafting. Yeah, that's right. It is a level that's uh, six levels. Yep. So for the Nao Nong Xi, it's uh, about... It's about between class two and class three. Okay. And for the Shou Lan Xi? No one a little bit higher. I would say class four. Hmm. Then how about the one in Bali? 
Bali one is somewhere between class four and class five. Okay. More challenging. So overall speaking, in Taiwan, we don't have the highest yet. Yeah, that's so right. So we have to go to the foreign countries. However, like, uh, during the typhoon season, mm -hmm. after heavy raining, yeah. it can be reached class four or five. I see. So it depends on the seasons, depends on the water volume. Um, but uh, where can we go for the highest level in a foreign country? Like well, the, one of the best, the biggest, will be in uh, United Colorado. States? United it's called, States. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Colorado River. Colorado River? Yeah. And I heard that one in New Zealand is also Oh, yeah, great. that one is very uh, well known. I see on the TV for mm -hmm. advertising. That's right. Maybe next time let's go there together. Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah. Now let's uh, talk about the, our content first. Let's move to our paragraph one. Robert, can you read aloud so our students can get along? Sure. We didn't cancel the trip. Life is impermanent. We don't know exactly what will happen out on the road, especially when it comes to Mother Nature. Sometimes, he who takes chances win the game. The day before we went to the south for white water rafting, it was cloudy and rain heavily island-wide. Some roads were damaged and mass lights were being sporadically reported in Kaohsiung County. As a result, we still decided to go ahead as a planned. We have an interesting word here. Life is impermanent. Impermanent means that nothing stays, right? Everything is changing. Yes, right. Nothing stands still. Nothing stands still. 没有任何事情是永久的，总是一直在改变的。哈，啊，here is a good sentence. He who takes chances wins the game. He who takes chances wins the game. Means that only if you want to take chance, then you have the possibility to win the game. 只有你呢，稍微去做一些尝试，那么你才可能去有所赢面。你都不是，你怎么知道你会不会成功呢？ And there's also another famous proverb can be used here, right? Yeah, it's called uh, "Nothing ventured, nothing gained." Nothing ventured, nothing gained. In other words, you cannot get where you want to go. And this, you are willing to take a risk. That's right, that's right. 不入虎穴焉得虎子 Nothing ventured, nothing gained. OK, now let's take a look at the vocabulary. Number one. Rafting, noun. 名词,泛舟. Some people love rafting, especially in summer. 有些人喜欢泛舟, 尤其在夏天的时候. Number two. Cancel, book. 及物动词取消废止终止 I canceled my trip to Japan because of the earthquake. 因为日本地震我取消日本旅游. Number three. Impermanent, adjective. 形容词不持久的,暂时的. The cherry blossoms are impermanent. 这些樱花是不持久的. Number four. Damage, verb. 损害,毁损. The month lies damaged many houses. Number five. Month lie none. 名词, 贪方, 山崩, there are lots of month lies after a heavy rain. 下了许多雨之后, Number six. Sporadically above. 副词, 偶尔, we could hear the gunshots sporadically. 我们偶尔听到枪声, number seven. County, noun. 名词, 县. I live in Taizong County. 
我以前住在台中县。Students, now let's take a break. Students, welcome back. Now let's keep on uh, reading the phrase number one. Uh, the result. 结果。Uh, the result. She won the first place in the speech competition. 结果，她赢得这场演讲比赛第一名。Now we wanna now keep on learning. How did they do for the white water rafting? Let's keep on to read the paragraph second. We were blessed all the way. 我们一路都被保佑着。It was partly sunny. 有部分的阳光。No rain at all. 一点雨也没有。The water level was rated as the class four rapids. 水位被评为第四级激流。Which is much higher than usual. 比往常的水位更高。It was perfect for rafting enthusiasts like us. 这正适合我们这些激流爱好者。Having arrived at the dock at the 9:30 a.m. to sign up. 在早上九点半时抵达码头报名后 ，We put on the helmets and light jackets. 我们戴上头盔及救生衣 ，and we had a 15 minutes pre-rafting orientation. 并做了十五分钟的激流泛舟前的训练。After that, 训练后 ，We were given four boats. 我们取得四艘船 ，with two paddles each in the bow. 每艘船头都有两个桨。Each boat can sit up to ten people. 每一艘船可以坐十个人。Now I have some questions for Robert. First of all, we talk about we arrive at the dock. Well, what is the dock? That is a place where you can get on the boat and get off the boat. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. So, 码头 right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and. At 9:30 a.m., we sign up. Sign up means register. Register. We check in. Yeah, we 报名了 Then we put on helmets and life jackets, and we had a 15 minutes of a pre-rafting orientation. Yeah, that's right. Can you elaborate a little bit? What have you given for the orientation? The instructor will tell the rafter. Uh, Thing to do and thing not to do. Okay, do's Such, and don'ts. Yeah, that's right. Let's talk about do's first. Do. Always wear helmet and light jacket. Good. Wear the camera roof. Waterproof camera. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. For you, if you want to carry the valuable. Yeah. And. Waterproof, plastic. To keep the valuable things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, from the water damage. Yeah. Right. Good. And what about don'ts? Don't, don't panic when you fall over. Listen to the boat captain. Mm-hmm. Don't litter, and don't pollute the water with the detergent. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So、yeah. everybody can have a chance to enjoy the beautiful scenery. That's right? right. Don't pollute it. That's great. And also, you talk about we have two paddles each in the bowl. Yeah. Bowl, B O W. What does it mean by a bowl? It's a special terminology for shipping. Yes. Bowl means a head of a boat. So it's a boat. Yeah, that's right. Right. In the bowl. Yeah. Then you have a two paddles. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. So the tail. How will you call it, the tail? Tail is called stone. S T E R N stern. Okay. Stern. Okay. 船尾 Stern. Yeah, that's right.、Uh, but you have a、uh, two paddles in the bow. Do you have a?、Uh, you just mentioned about the bow captain. Oh yeah. Do you have a bow cat captain in your boat?、Uh, at that time, we we not assign a bow captain. But usually, when I was in Bali, Indonesia, they assign one bow captain、mm -hmm. in the back of the boat. Okay. To control the direction、yes. and watch everybody,、yes. make sure everybody is safe. Okay, so that's because of the different budget, maybe. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And also,、uh, 
when I'm in Taiwan, most of the passengers, they are female. They don't have strength to paddle, you know. Mm -hmm. So they pick the two guys who have a strong muscle with the paddle. Mm -hmm. But yeah. in the Bali, it's different because uh, everybody gets a paddle to have a good time. Oh, really? Everybody gets a paddle? Yeah. Mm, that's great. So who was the captain in your boat? Uh, oh, they are local people. In your boat? Yeah. Local people? Yeah. They, they, they the want to uh, make sure everybody safety. I mean, in, in this article, the Kaohsiung County. Oh, this, this one, no. Yeah, who was the captain? Well, I was the uh, captain for my boat. Oh, so you have to yell to direct. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Otherwise, mm. our boat will uh, capsize. Capsized, yes. We'll talk about that later. And you talk about the Bali, the one in Bali. Yeah. How would the captain instruct you? Because we have a different languages, right? Yeah, but uh, they told us a very simple language. It's called command. Uh, you such mean a, English? Yeah, in English. Okay, in English. Like uh, all forward. All forward. All back. All back. All rest. All rest. Left and right. Right. So yeah. everybody would do the same thing. Yeah, this exactly. is a very easy language. Okay. And if you don't know the language, he will use his body language to show what to do. Okay, then that's easy to follow. Good, but it's good to know that even when you are in Bali, you still have to use English. So students, please prepare yourself for good English. Okay. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary number eight. Press verb. 及物动词，保佑、庇护。You are blessed by God for having so many talents. 你如此受神的保佑，拥有许多的天分。Number nine. Great verb. 及物动词，认为、列为。Bill Gates was really one of the most powerful men in the world. 比尔·盖茨被认为是世界上最有权力的人之一。Number ten. Rabbits, none. 急流急湍。I dare not cross the rapids. 我不敢渡过急流。Number eleven. Enthusiasts, none. 名词，对什么热衷的人，热心者。Bonita is a cooking enthusiast. Bonita 是个热衷于烹饪的人。Number twelve. Helmet, none. 名词，头盔。钢盔、安全帽。When you are riding a bike, you have to wear a helmet. 当你骑车时，必须戴安全帽。Number thirteen. Orientation, none. 名词，对新生的情况介绍。Our new student needed some orientation. 我们的新生需要学校的新生简介。Number fourteen. Paddle, none. 名词，桨。Can you teach me how to use this paddle? 你可以教我如何使用这只桨吗 ？Students, do you feel tired? Let's take a break now. Welcome back, students. We have reviewed these two phrases for you before, but now we show you again. Number two. Sign up. 注册，报名登记。I sign up for the English class. 我报名登记英文课。Number three. Put on. 穿上。I put on my beautiful dress for my birthday party. 我在我的生日宴会上穿上漂亮洋装。Yes, I usually do this. I love to put on my beautiful dress well when I have the special occasion. And now let's move to the paragraph three to know how did they do in the white water rafting. Paragraph three, Robert, please go ahead. Because of the recent heavy rain upstream, the water was kind of dark and murky. Not crystal clear. Along with the river's picturesque scenery. We enjoyed raging water with exciting waves. We from the waves enjoyed the rapid waves. One of our boats capsized in the current. 
But luckily, no one was hurt. Students here, I want to remind you one of. One of 后面呢, 我们通常要加复数的名词, 啊, one of our boats. 所以是加, 啊, 因为很多船当中的一艘, 所以我们后面, one of 后面一定加复数的名词. Here, I want to share with uh, Robert. You talk about one of the boats capsized in the current. That's very unfortunately, right? Yeah. But how it happened? Most of the drafter in that boat, they are beginner. Mm -hmm. Most of the women, and except uh, two or three guys, that's all. Yes. And the guy who doesn't know how to paddle, keep the boat straight against the wave. Yeah, okay. Because they didn't do, they didn't do that. That's why their boat kept sight. Oh. So remember, always keep the boat straight ahead against the wave, and you'll be safe. Okay. 同学们，这边我们学到了一个功课。当你在激流泛舟的时候，你必须把你的船啊正对着那个它的呃浪，right？你不要偏左或偏偏右了，等一下就被翻了。那that's the tip. Okay, that's good. Uh, now let's take a look at the vocabulary number fifteen. Upstream, adjective. 形容词，在上游的，逆流的。Josh. Went upstream to fish yesterday and caught many fish. Just 昨天在上游钓鱼，并且钓到很多鱼。Number sixteen. Murky adjective. 形容词，黑暗的，阴郁的。The pond is kind of murky. 那池塘有点黑。Number seventeen. Crystal adjective. 形容词，水晶般的，清澈的，透明的。I like to swim in a crystal clear river. 我喜欢在清澈的小河游泳。Number 18. Picture risk, adjective. 形容词,图画般的,美丽的。There's a lot of picture risk scenery in Switzerland. 在瑞士,有许多风景如画。Number 19. Rich, verb. 不及物动词,猖獗,肆虐,激烈进行。After a terrible earthquake struck Japan, the flood, rich. 日本在可怕的大地震后,大水肆虐。Number 20. Capsides, verb. 及物动词,使倾覆,弄翻。The big wave capsized many boats. 这大浪打翻了许多船。Number 21. Current, noun. 名词,流动,水流,激流。Current in this ocean is very slow. 这个海水的水流很慢。Now, students, let's keep on reading the paragraph four. Going rafting is like a riding a roller coaster. 激流泛舟就像坐云霄飞车。We were all thrilled at the ups and downs of the waves. 我们随着波浪起伏而感到异常兴奋。We screamed at the top of our lungs. 我们从肺里声节立思的吼叫。And heard the echoes of the sound in the valley. 并听到回音回荡在山谷当中。In addition, 此外, We felt relieved, peaceful, and great in the relaxation of a slow float. 在缓慢的漂流休息时, 我们感到轻松, 平静, I estimate, it took us about one and a half hours to finish rafting. 我估计我们花了一个半小时完成泛舟。I wish we could have rafted longer. 我真希望我们可以泛舟更久一点。It looks like a, having a rafting is like a, having a roller coaster. You will have your ups and downs. Ups and downs is very useful in your daily life. Sometimes we can say that we have our ups and downs ups and downs in our daily lives. 我们的生命当中有一些是我们的高点,有一些是我们的不是很好的时候,我们也可以用这个 ups and downs. Well, Robert, what is the purpose of yelling from at the top of your lungs? Why did you do that? Because they experienced the big wave and white waters. They are so excited. 
Yeah, that's right. And uh, they, they, because it's so exciting and challenging, they scream. Okay, and also they want to hear the echo of the sound from the valley. Yeah, that's right. Right? I did that too. Okay, that's fun yeah. to do that. Um, because it's uh, ups and downs so much, when you get through the ra fast rapids, was there anyone who feels, feels so uncomfortable or vomit or whatever? No, I don't know. But because uh, we're in the front, in our boat, the rafter in our boat, no one vomiting or gets sick. Mm -hmm. But our boat in the, in the back, I don't know. Okay, I see. Okay. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary 22. Well, verb. 及物動詞,使興奮,使激動. Emily was so thrilled to see her idol. Emily 很高興,很興奮地看到她的偶像. 23. Echo, none. 名詞,回聲,回音. This valley produced lots of echoes. 這個山谷可以產生很多回音. 24. Valley, none. 名詞,山谷,溪谷. This valley is famous for producing sweet grapes. 这个山谷 以生产甜葡萄闻名 25 Relieve verb 及物动词缓和减轻减除 After taking the painkiller, the patient was relieved from the pain. 这病人吃了止痛药后, 疼痛减轻了 Number 26 Relaxation, none 名词松懈放松 Let's watch TV for relaxation. We have been working so hard. 我们工作的太辛苦了, 让我们看电视放松一下. Number 27. Float, verb. 不及物动词, 漂浮, 浮动. The beautiful jellyfish is floating in the tank. 这只美丽的水母在鱼缸里漂浮. Number 28. Estimate, verb. 及物动词, 估计, I estimate over 50 thousand people joined the parade. 我估计超过五万人参加这一趟旅行. We have another phrase for you, number four. In addition. 另外, after a great meal, Sam eats many cakes in addition. 在吃完大餐后, 山姆还另外吃许多蛋糕. Now students, uh, let's look at the, the end of the paragraph, number five. We were all very happy that we made the right decision not to cancel the trip, and no doubt about it. We the, 我们都很高兴做了对的决定,没有取消这趟旅程. We really had the experience of the lifetime. 我们真的享受了毕生难得一见的经验. We like to try it again sometime in the future. 在将来,我们希望可以再试一次. It's almost the end of the program, so would you do it again? Yes, I'd like to do it again. Okay, so how, how would you do it again differently? Well, this time... Maybe try to Google it, Google the information first? Yeah, get on the internet to find out more information about whitewater water rafting. Yes. And also planning to go to California to take a lesson for the class, class six. Class 6 is considered most dangerous, and it's the highest of the rafting. Sounds very interesting to me, but I think it will cost us a, an arm and a leg. Very expensive, right? Yep. I think so. So students, do you enjoy today's article? We hope that uh, you can join us again next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.